Hey everybody, it's John back again, and after a long wait, Super 7 has finally sent out their Toxic Crusaders figures. And I grabbed both versions of them, the plain and the radioactive glow-in-the-dark one that I'm really excited to take a look at and see. So they come in these shipper boxes with the Toxic Crusaders logo on them. And really nothing else. Oh, we got a flap on the side here. green. <coughs> oh, that's a pretty cool box. <clears throat> now, the Toxic Crusaders was a cartoon it was in the late 80s, late 90s, based off the Toxic Avenger movies from Troma. Uh, movies that I was a very big fan of when I was a kid. I did not see a whole lot of the cartoon though, so I may not know every little bit of these guys. So we got pretty much the same box. Uh, well, this one a lighter green, this one is a darker green, same logo. Entertainment Earth Exclusive Limited Edition. We can see some different color stripes piping through the bottom here. And if we give these slip covers a little bit of a pull, we get a peek at our glow in the dark toxi here. And we give this one. Come on. Come on. We get our. Uh, Full color Toxie based off of the cartoon and toy line that came out with them. I do not have any of them. I would love to one day hunt them down. But there you can see they are the same figures, except for those are completely molded in glow in the dark plastic. Um, I'm excited to take a peek at these. So. Please stick around and I will open these up and we'll take a closer look at both of these cool little figures. Alright, here we have our two Toxic Avengers out of the package. Uh, as you know, Super 7 has taken the uh, bucks from the Masters Universe Classics line and ran with them. And they've been put out, putting out some pretty interesting things so far. And now we have the Toxic Avenger from the Toxic Crusaders. So this is the one done in the color scheme of the classic toy, and this is the glow-in-the-dark version. A lot of the classic toys came with glow-in-the-dark pieces, so, no, it makes sense. So, we have our Toxie, Toxie here. They added some nice little weird radioactive growths all over his body. He's got a hunched forward and neck, his one eye is bulging out. See his smile, he's got his headband on, he's got his tutu, his uh, ravaged, ripped up tutu, a couple of band or wristbands on him, some wraps on his feet, some goo on his foot, his toe kind of hanging out the front there of his shoes. So, it's neat and, and, uh, and a very entertaining little figure. And if you take a close look here at his face, you can see it's uh, cartoony and grotesque all at the same time. Remember, these were originally for a kid's cartoon. See his ear, a little gross. It's a detail. The figure feels like a really solid plastic. Um, I think Super 7 is now in their groove with their factory. And they are putting out some pretty amazing things. I do have one little problem, and we'll get to that in a little bit. So he has your standard Masters Universe Classics articulation, where his head goes around, and up and down. And that feels a little soft. The peg in the inside feels kind of soft. Like I don't want to maybe even attempt to change the heads out without heating it up quite heavily. We've got the 
a rotation and hinged shoulder, the upper bicep swivel, single jointed elbows. He's got a swivel at his wrist and he has a hinge. He's got an ab crunch that goes back and an ab crunch that goes forward a little bit. Not a lot, but you get there. You can swivel at the waisty waist. His legs go out pretty far. Not a whole lot of forward, not a whole lot of back, but you do get a swivel at the thigh. You get a single jointed knee. Do they have the boot cut? Yep, still using the boot cut. Got a hinge and a rocker. Now the problem I have is this paint in the ankle joint right here. You can tell where it was painted a little too much and when you go to move it, it will bend or peel the paint. It'll stretch and snap. So you might see actual the plastic of the figure underneath the paint. Uh, but it's not too bad and I didn't really have a whole lot that came off with it. Uh, and he stands and is very functional. He comes with his Toxic Crusader shield. As you can see, it's got the old logo. A lot like the original. It's got like a piece of pipe holding this thing together. And it fits in his hand very nice and snug. <laughs> and this guy's so crazy colorful. Uh, his ankles are a little... Hopefully they don't, they're not too weak. And what else do we have? Come on. We've got... There's three canister grenades. No, this version of Toxie had multiple friends and was kind of... kind of like uh, Captain Planet-ish, where he was fighting evildoers that were polluting the world. And he was there to clean it up. And these should be able to hang off of his... Oh, well, there goes one. Off of his tutu, if you can get it. There we go, there's one. I mean, you can probably put them wherever you want. But... Two. Hopefully they stay pretty snug on here because I don't want to lose any of them. Let me fit one here. Oh, they're pretty flexible. There's three. But this thing, I don't remember what this is. He's completely escaping my mind right now. Because I thought his mop... There's this trusty mop was alive, but maybe it's this guy? If you guys remember who or what this was, let me know in the comments, because I completely forget. But he's made out of translucent plastic. I know he's, his buddy he pegs onto his shoulder so he can hang out with him. I do not remember his name. And uh, the flag is nice, or flag. Mop has the American flag on it. It's a very nicely detailed mop. All in, done all in orange like the original toy. And you can put it in his hand. Or you can slide it through the holster on the back. And you can have it on him holding it like so. And he also comes with an alternative head if you don't want the bandana on see all the nice little gross detailing going on there. And then you have the other figure, which is the exact same sculpt, just in the glow-in-the-dark plastic. And he has the exact same accessories, so we'll just put them on and then we'll hit the lights. And we'll just see how good this thing glows, because I love me a, I love glow-in-the-dark figures, especially a good strong one. Oh, this did have a flag. Where'd the flag go? Hmm. I had a little malfunction a little bit earlier. I was taking one of the package, 
Got attacked by like four moths because of how bright these lights are. And uh, ended up dropping it. And it looks like the flag fell off. Well, I'll have to see if I can find it. We'll put this back here. Grab his little buddy. Grenades. <laughs> yeah, oh, man, I know you can watch the episodes on YouTube. I probably should have watched a couple of them before I started this, but I got the baby boy now, and he takes up a lot of my time, and it's fantastic. So, you know, I'm not. I'd rather do that than a little bit of research of these th for this, but hopefully you guys remember. And you can let me know, because I really want to know what his name is. I don't remember. It's been such a long time ago. I'm blown away that the Super 7 team man even came up with the idea of doing this. And uh, I'm excited to see what they do constantly. And I know a lot of people don't like the, how long it takes to get your stuff, but they are made to order. It takes about a year from start to process to make a toy, or a figure, or an action figure, or whatever you want to call them. But they do. Their work is definitely starting to show itself, and they are proving that they can make some pretty good quality stuff. So here we go. I'm going to warn you. Get ready to adjust your eyes. Uh, hopefully the camera will adjust really well. I'm going to hit the switch on the power lights. And boop. Wow. Oh, even the other Toxie's eyeball glows. So there's a little bit of glow in the dark on him too. Wow, he glows bright. He might be the brightest thing on the shelf that I have now. Holy cow. Super bright. And he holds it pretty well. That's impressive. Hopefully he doesn't... I mean... Oh, here come the lights. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, that was... If you like glow-in-the-dark figures, he's fantastic. And his eye glows. <laughs> and you wouldn't have realized. It's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I'm, I highly doubt Super 7 would ever watch my videos, but if they ever do, thank you, Brian and crew. These figures are really great. I hope you guys managed to pick them up. Um, I'm happy with them. That is my only complaint, is the paint around the ankles. His is the same, where it's stretched and kind of peeled off. But yeah, I don't think anybody's going to really be paying attention to that. So I hope that you guys pick these guys these up while you could. Um, they're well done. They're a lot of fun. And I'll see you later. seen anymore you can click uh, either one of the links that will be over here and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel there'll be a button down below where you can do that as well and again thank you